Hello and welcome back to Fort Triumph with me, Barden. Right, so let's do our levels, level up. So Abigail has no new abilities to choose from, unfortunately. So we can just do that. And then we can get a fire arrow with Ruby so we can start setting places on fire. And people are going to love us for it. Okay, so let's go make our way that way. Oh, that guy's getting aggressive, I see. Well, they're retreating. Ah, so the spiders are going to take the bridge then, which is good for us because it means we don't have to start a war with them just to take control of that bridge. Right, so I'm going to go here. Let's battle. When decided to matter whether to move, or where to move. Enemies highlighted with an outline will be in sight. Something, something, something. Okay. So they're all together, which is normally good. She can move up as far as here. Okay. Hi. Oh, just more than I expected. Okay. Vortex. Oh yeah, and Vortex doesn't work all that well indoors. I forgot that. Okay, well, let's see this to start. Okay, good. There's three of the handles. Let's look at where things are situated. So, you can be kicked across there into that one which is almost certainly what she's going to do. So let's dash and slash and bring her to here. Okay. Then let's see. You two. So that one's going to go across there. Hit that one. We're going to be happy with that. Caitlin, you're going to move to here. Yeah, I think you're going to move to here. Then you're going to kick. Yeah, you kick that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You go there. Lift that. No, because then, yeah, she can't do what I want her to do. Unless she goes there, move that, move that one to there. You kick it, but then it won't get all of them. Okay, so let's not do that. So she's going to go here. She's getting an ice arrow. This front guy. Okay, did you show movement? Caitlin is going to move up to here. Okay. She's going to kick this. Okay, good. And then Abigail is going to kick you. Ooh, you didn't quite make it, did you? Okay, they're all getting attracted there. Right, so you attack her, that's fine. She is a tank. You attack her, that's fine, she's the other tank. You couldn't quite get to her. You're probably, oh, you're going over there, okay. And you're going there. Right. Okay. Now, you can go here. Okay. She's going to blink over to where? Maybe here? Yeah, let's have her blink over to here. Okay. Caitlin then is going to kick 
this because it's a vortex, so we're hoping to get all of these guys. We might get them all, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So, basically, one of them got killed, three of them got stunned, one of them get touched at all. Okay. Now, Ruby. You can hook that one, so... Why don't you go here? Okay, and then hook... That one. Okay. So it's stunned. Now, Saldana is going to push these. So, stun all three, hopefully. There we go. Attack of Opportunity, one's dead. Right, so there's only one left. Abigail. Now, Abigail is going to do what? She's going to move here. Okay, and then she's going to kick this one. And that's done as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, two. You're there. Right. So the plans. What are the plans this time? Kick. So it, there's a possibility of kick, hit, down, maybe not down the hole, but maybe down the hole and dead. These three are the problem though, as far as I can tell. So that one, okay. And then you, you 10, you have how many? You're 14, 16, and 11, okay. All right, so what are our options? First option is Abigail to here, kick this one into that one, and then that's fine. Or Abigail to here, kick this one into that one, and that's fine. She could... What could she do, actually? But she could just move, and then what would she do then? Because she's got fire. Hmm. Interesting. So what if we? What would we do? So. She used swap. She could swap positions with one of these, and then it'll be two over there. So what does that do for us? It moves her away from them to start. Puts two of them together. Then she used an action potion, she could swap again. But then mm, no, okay. So Let's think about what everyone else can do. She can stun two of these, either these two or these two. But then someone has to deal with this one. So if she doesn't have any kind of stun capability. So right now we can deal with four of them effectively. That one could die. Then you okay, so let's start like this. She's gonna swap with with that no. Let's see. Yeah, let's swap her with that. Did that work? Oh no, used the wrong one. Okay. Swap with that. Okay, good. Abigail is going to move here. She's going to use one of her um, potions. Okay. 
she's then going to use this, which is going to kill one. Okay. Abigail is going to kick this. Uh oh. Uh oh, because we left him alive. Uh, oops. Can you take that? No, you can't. Oops, oops, oops. That was not good. Okay. Caitlin is going to go here. She's then going to kick that guy over there. Okay. Ruby is going to move to here. Okay. And then I want her to shoot this pot. Okay, which slows him down. And now we'll see what to do. So you don't do anything. You attack her, which is fine. You attack her, which is fine. Then you shouldn't be able to go. Oh, you can actually get there. Okay. Right, so Caitlin is on two life, which isn't the best, but she's gonna move here. So I'm going to kick this one. I'm not sure where it's going to hit that one or not. I'm just going to kick this one. Okay. Oh wow, we almost killed her. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so those three are handled. Now, Abigail is going to go... I want to go there. Okay, so... Aldana. I'm gonna push. Okay, so Taldana is gonna let's turn around. It's gonna come here. She's then going to take that. Okay. Abigail is going to go here. Okay, and she's going to kick. So the idea is the spider. Um, we see if the spider can fly, basically. Oops. I guess the spider might be able to fly. <laughs> right. Luckily, we can do this. Bye-bye. <laughs> At least it got stunned when it went, like, plummeted to its death. Now, Ruby, we're not going to set them on fire because if we set one on fire, we could actually end up setting her on fire and killing her. So instead, she has 93% chance. So she's going to kill whichever one she shoots. So let's shoot this one. Okay, and there's a nice healing potion for us. Let's see, you move there. And you move there, so you're in a nice line. Okay, Caitlin has only one more potion. Right, so let's bring Abigail to here. Okay, then let's kick this with Abigail. We don't take the opportunity. Okay. Then Caitlin is going to go take that. Okay. Ruby is going to move here. She's then going to get this kill. Okay, so we did that. Nice. It's tough to start to kind of figure out which ones you know needed to die and all that, but in the end, we did okay. Caitlin, we nearly killed Caitlin, but we did okay. <laughs> right, so onwards. 
Did you know the ranger's grappling hook ability allows you to pull objects on enemies? I certainly did. Thank you. Okay, let's go here and get ourselves a tattoo, I believe. A wise lanky hermit regales you with tales of his exploits. Sitting there, sipping on delicious tea and learning of his adventures, the party feels sharper than ever and ready for battle. Plus 10 accuracy for next battle. Cool. And then let's end the turn. Okay, let's grab this. Rumor has it, this well can restore sight to the blind. Rumors often exaggerate. Just two to party sight. Okay, we're not going to attack you. We are going to come to here because we're going to get extra steps from it. Yes, plus 10 to party steps. The bandit post provides you with a safe place to rest your head. After a good night's rest, your party feels refreshed and ready to go on. Okay, now let's go and claim this. The source of mystical powers, this totem will grant you magic over time, plus 10 magic per week. Okay, now um, let's go there next turn. I think those guys are probably going to attack us when we end the turn. Let's end turn anyway, see what happens. So goblins are taking our bridge that we, well, it was our bridge a long time ago, maybe not anymore. Now we're neutral with these guys, or like the ones that are over on, on this side. So that doesn't mean that they won't attack us when we go over there. And these guys have attacked us, okay. Or watch and attack where opportunity are disabled when taking damage. Okay. Wow. Okay. So there's a bunch of medium spiders. Um, a lot of little ones. And one big one, I think. So our job is, first of all, to move back and overwatch, okay, then let's move her to there, brace, let's move Ruby back behind here and overwatch, then let's move Caitlyn to here and brace. So those two should attract the majority of the spiders. Now the big one, the big one does have a range attack, so it might um, acid attack someone else. And something I should have mentioned last time as well is that we're on version 0.7.8. So there's been an update um, since since the episode before last. But the good thing is the guys are. Constantly improving game. It's great to see. So those are gonna cluster. Ah, that's good. So we're basically gonna get a nice line of spiders. And some people might think, oh, um, you know, that's not a good thing for the game. But I think it is because spiders, you know, the spiders aren't um, that intelligent. So the spiders. Yeah, like that, missing and hitting the tree. But if the spiders were extremely intelligent, then I, I think the player would have no chance at all in some of these fights. Okay, that's a beautiful line there. Okay. So. There are a lot of options here. I think the first thing we're going to do is 
Abigail is going to go here. Okay. Then Caitlin is going to go here. I'm going to start with Caitlin kicking this one. Okay, that's two dealt with. Okay. Next, Abigail is going to kick this big guy. Or kick, not brace. Kick the big guy. Okay. Now Ruby has... Oh, we can't see it. So Ruby's going to move back to... She's going to move over to here. I hope this is right. She's going to move over to here. Okay. So I'm going to hook this one. So the idea is bang, 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 tree. But let's see if that works out that way or not. Okay, there we go. So obviously she we didn't want her to stand behind the tree and that happened. Now we only have two little um titchy guys left, so she can kill either one. So let's go for this one because it's closest to Ruby. Okay, so it's dead. Now yeah. That's good. We, we take some damage there, but it's good that it went there. Okay. Now. Let's start with Abigail. She's going to kick you into the tree. Caitlin is then going to move here. He's just going to kick you that way. Okay, excellent. That just leaves them one to be dealt with. So she's leveled up, but she doesn't have any abilities. Let's see, so you're going to move. So we can kill that one this turn. If she moves here. And she shoots it. Okay. And then Taldana can just finish it off. Okay, excellent. Okay, now Ruby can move out of the way. Abigail can come to here. She can kick you. Okay. Caitlin can attack you. Okay, big one's dead. Only one left to kill now. Ruby can almost certainly kill it. Well, 67, 100% chance to hit, 67% chance to kill with the hit. There we go. Yeah, not a bad fight. Don't feel like um, I was in any danger in that fight at all, so that's good. So when that happens, I feel like I, I did things right. Normally I make a mistake that I have to recover from, but that time I didn't, so. Happy about that. If cost one action point doesn't end a hero's turn and can lead to powerful combinations, it certainly can. Okay, so I think we're going to end the video there. And then next week we'll take on the bridge. Or, sorry, next time we'll take on the bridge. We get over here and we see, I want to see what this eye thing is as well. Hopefully it's not just something in the background. And that's something we can interact with. 
It looks like maybe it isn't though, which, which would be a bit of a pity. But there is uh, plenty of challenge on this side, it seems. But as I said, we're going to end the video. So as always, um, if you haven't enjoyed, please hit that like button, share with a friend or two or on your favorite social media. And I really hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.